It's lookbook time. Today I'm going to be going through everything that I made in February and the one thing that I made in March. The very first thing that I got sewn in February was Nicola's A-line black mini skirt. Nicola did cut the fabric out and she did sew on all the bias binding but we just ran out of time that day and she did want it for a specific event so I finished that skirt off for her and I absolutely love how it looks on her. It looks amazing and she's wearing it all the time which is awesome. I haven't done a commission for a very very long time so it wasn't a lot of fun to make Nicola sloper, draft the pattern with her and work out which fabrics she wanted and what style lines she wanted and actually get the finished product done and the fact that she loves it so much is awesome. That was make number one from February. You have seen all of the other pieces that I'm going to show you today in the capsule collection styling video which I will link up there. The very first piece that I got done from that collection was the little cropped jacket. This is the new look 6080 and there is a sew along on the channel for this because because this is an unlined jacket and we all know my preference is for lining so I have fully lined this even if you decide to go down the unlined route I would put in a lining to the sleeves and make sure it's a nice slippery lining this is a rayon cotton blend suiting that I got from Lady McElroy it's called Bissau they don't have any more of it or at least they didn't the last time I looked I will if I can link it in the description down below I've actually got a bolt of 10 meters of this left because I absolutely love it and because it's natural fibers it's dyeable so I am planning on making some trousers maybe a couple of pairs of trousers to go in with this suit also I've got the leftovers from this and the skirt that you'll see in a second to make a waistcoat and then I will have a full four piece possibly five piece suit from this fabric I just absolutely love it it's a beautiful cream color which is a really good neutral for me it kind of goes with everything as we saw in the styling video that I have mentioned. I'm really pleased with this. I have some tan and navy wool suitings that I'm going to make up into this jacket because it is the kind of perfect smarter layering piece for me. You know I tend to wear cardigans like this one but it is nice to have a different option. I have those wool suitings and have made skirts out of most of them so it would be nice to have something matching. Really really pleased with this one. We'll be making more. My next piece is my three-quarter circle skirt from the same fabric. I was prioritizing the pieces that I'd agreed to make with Nicola last November I think it was with our capsule planning video. If you want to check out that video I'll link it up here and in the description down below as well. This is a three-quarter circle skirt. It's the same as I say rayon blend suiting and I fully lined it with a viscose acetate lining which again I can list to you in the description down below. I like this kind of lining in skirts because it's slippery which means that I can wear it with tights and I don't have to wear a slip underneath my clothes which I tend to do most times anyway but just in case it's nice to have that option. Also because of the colour of this fabric it, it's not see-through or sheer but I just like having that extra layer of fabric. It's a comfort thing for me and as we know I like to fully line the majority of my clothes so really simple three-quarter circle skirt. There is a sew along on the channel for this one as well. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out and it looks lovely with this top and the suit and then also all the other layering pieces because again you saw this in the styling video. The next project I made was the Anaconda and Thesis three-quarter circle skirt and I made this with the Lena lining that I had left over after I'd made my coat. Unfortunately it was before I had decided that I didn't like the length of my cream coat which you saw in January's lookbook. I am going to lengthen the coat skirt with some velvet on it because I can't get the same wool and I think it's going to look gorgeous but I had used up all my remaining Lena lining in this skirt. One of the lovely peeps found a listing on Minerva for the correct colorway so I've bought myself another two meters of the lining so the, the coat's going to be fine and I'm really glad that I've got this skirt. They are I have heard bringing out this print on rayon this month possibly fingers crossed and if they do I am totally going to get myself some of the sage colorway and possibly this in the buttermilk colorway as well because I just absolutely love 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 this print and all of those different colors that they do it in. This is a polyester fabric but it is the one that has the most drape out of the different bases they've released this print on so far which is why I have made it into a skirt. I don't like wearing polyester next to my skin so I fully lined this one with a viscose maracane that I get from the fabric room usually by about 20 meters at a time and I go through that quite quickly because I tend to line the majority of my things with either that or the viscose acetate that I showed you earlier. I am in love with this as I say three-quarter circle skirt so not quite as full as it could be but still has enough 
swoosh and fullness for my preferences. I absolutely love it and I did decide to kind of like lean into the yellow pops of colour that you have in the print by lining the hem with yellow bias binding or finishing the hem with yellow bias binding. The only downside of that is that this fabric is sheer enough that you can kind of see it underneath but it's an even uniform line so I'm not worrying about it too much. Not enough to the extent that I'm going to take the bias binding off because that's been machine and hand sewn down and replace it with a better colour that goes with it. I did use a white bias binding up the centre back so there aren't yellow lines running up the centre back of the skirt. In all honesty the skirt's full enough that you couldn't really see it even if there was but really really happy with this one and I am so so pleased that I have it and I didn't save the fabric for the lining of the coat and I just got a little bit more. For someone who says that they don't overly enjoy wearing separates I did make a lot of skirts this month. This is the yellow polka dot three quarter circle skirt. Again it is fully lined with the viscose maracane. I really really like this one. This wasn't included in the capsule collection only because we had so many options to pick from we had to narrow it down to 20 and not include everything that I bought down because we could still be filming that video now with the amount of different combinations that came out of the 20 pieces and I think I had about 35 that would have worked. One of the rules for my capsule collection is that anything that I make from the Anaconda and Thesis collection which again there is a video for and you can find it up here if I make anything from that collection it gets added into the things that I am allowed to wear and now that all my skirts are finished I am starting my I'm only wearing things from my capsule collection challenge for at least a month but I can see it going longer than that. Although I do have my bag sewing retreat coming up at the end of this month beginning of May and at least one of those nights I do need to wear an evening gown so there will be a one other thing worn this month but the majority of things are going to be taken from that 20 piece or now 21 piece capsule collection. Again sew along on the channel for this one I've done it exactly the same way as the last two three quarter circle skirts that you've seen. Really pleased with this. Fabric was from Textile Express and it's a viscose polyester blend but it was the only bright yellow polka dot fabric in any kind of drape that I could find so I did buy it. It's not my favourite. It, it was one of those weird fabrics that kind of shredded every now and again. Maybe there were like faults in the fabric at some point and it just sort of like just fell apart on itself. There are a few places, in fact there's one place on the hem of the dress that you're going to see next that is definitely a little bit like but again full skirt so I think it's not noticeable unless I point it out. I really like how this looks with this. I'm really pleased with that combination. I really like the other combination with the dress as the top and the skirt that I'm wearing as the bottom. That is one of the things that I have discovered about my style and the things I like to sew and wear. I love making skirts as you guys know. I have a vast collection of skirts. I don't wear them very often but that was because I didn't have very many tops to go with them. I I'm discovering that if I layer my skirts over some of my dresses so that they act as tops I am very very happy with that look so it's not that I don't like wearing separates it's like it's that I don't want to waste fabric on making a top that I would prefer it to be a dress so either I need to buy a little bit more fabric going forward so I can make tops out of some of the remnants or I make my skirts that little bit longer so they can be layered on top of some of my dresses which I think is probably the thing that's going to actually happen. Next up another skirt and it's the one that I'm wearing. It is a half circle skirt because I only had three meters of this fabric and I knew I wanted a top from it. Again I could have made a dress but I'm really glad that I didn't because I think that the polka dots are as I've said before neutral prints and go with everything. I know not everyone's going to agree with me but I like the way they look with everything so I'm very glad and was determined to get a skirt and a top out of the three meters of fabric I had which meant that I had to go for a half circle rather than the three quarter circle. I like it. I It's not my absolute favourite. If I'd have had enough I would have gone for a three quarter. I have fully lined the skirt again with the viscose acetate this time because it's slippery and because it's a half circle skirt and there's less room for things to go underneath of it I thought a slippery lining over some of my dresses would just mean that there was no friction and nothing would get rucked up and caught on each other. That was my theorising behind that decision. This is 100% viscose that I got from Textile Express. I don't think they have any more of this. I definitely would have 
bought more and made a larger skirt if they had. I'm so so happy with the skirt though and also the top which is the next thing that I made. This is the Vogue 9006. It's a pattern that one of the peeps recommended to me after the love affair that I had with the 6563 t-shirt. The McCall's 6563 is an out of print pattern and can be quite expensive on some of the resale sites so somebody suggested that this was a good alternative and it really really is. There are two options. This is the technically sleeveless option. I've added these little Ocala cap sleeves on and I think that has made a big difference for my preference for this top. I'd made this once before, not last year but the year before I think, and I'd made it in a leafy print but it was a grayscale leafy print and I just didn't like those colours on me. It was before I'd had my colours done and I hadn't realised that they were way too cool toned for me to feel great in them but I really liked the style of the top. Now surprisingly this top has absolutely no bias in it, nothing is cut on the bias but I really really like how this one has turned out. I do like the bias cut version version of the 9006 and I have made that with the long sleeves but I think I prefer this one. As I say I've added on the Lakala sleeves and again I will link to that pattern in the description down below. I think it just helps to kind of accentuate the shoulders which helps with like the hourglass shaping that I personally like to try and achieve with most of my clothes. I think if I tucked, I don't know if I can tuck these under, I think if I tuck those under it wouldn't quite be the same. It's nice but those little sleeves I think just make it for me. This does come with a short sleeved option as well which I like but I've actually got a couple of shirts behind me here and I'm going to be taking that kind of a sleeve off because I think either a cap sleeve or a a three quarter length or full length sleeve is my preference. I still have a few other sleeve styles to play around with but I do think this is the better option for me and the way that I like to get dressed. There's no closure methods in this top and as I say it's not cut or sewn on the bias so it's quite an easy top to do. I did tailor this one a lot. I'm surprised that I didn't have to put a zip in it to be honest. The bust is a size 12 and the waist is a size 6 and then it goes back out to a size 12 over my hips and if you saw it in the capsule collection video you can can see that when it's untucked over my big three-quarter circle skirt it still has quite a lot of shaping in there but it's still not the kind of top that I necessarily would feel comfortable wearing untucked over a bigger skirt. I think I prefer to bring all the definition and focus back to my waist to try and again enhance the hourglass shape that I'm trying to achieve. All in all I love this top and I will be making more. I had hoped to make one out of the yellow polka dot fabric but I haven't got a big enough piece left to cut the front panel out because it's a t-shape it's like a, a grown-on facing that's just you finish the edge of and then gets tucked inside so the front pattern piece is the largest and it is quite wide and does have to be cut on the fold I think I have enough of the yellow polka dots to make a hunter tank though so I probably will do that with my leftovers because I really would like a little yellow top from some of that fabric as well I might even add the little sleeves onto that that could be an experiment worth trying because as I say I'm not overly enamored with the fabric I can fully line it with the viscose maracane so there'll be viscose next to my skin what would be really cool is if I'd had enough of this one left over I could have done a two-tone hunter tank because like you can make the hunter tank reversible again there's a full sew along on the channel for that it's for lining but if you don't do the understitching around the neckline you can make it fully reversible so that could have been fun but like I said I only have scraps of this left enough to make bias binding and nothing else and then I moved on to the yellow polka dot dress this is the McCall's 6891 which is now a butterick pattern that I can never remember the number for but I will link in the description down below there's also a sew along for this one on the channel. Lots of people asked for a tutorial of how to do the collar and also how to fully line a dress like this. My preference is for fully lining as you guys know. This is the first one that I have done with the long sleeves. They're okay. They're a two-piece sleeve. They're not my favourite. They're kind of full but not. I'm not sure that this is going to survive in my wardrobe as a sleeved dress. I may take the sleeves off and turn it into a sleeveless dress but I wanted to try the sleeves and I'm glad that I did. Although if I hadn't have done that I would have had enough fabric for this top from that fabric. But you know what? This was also meant to be a layering piece and a kind of like late winter, early spring, spring appropriate dress. So the sleeves are something that I personally like and also look great under some of the layering pieces as you saw in the capsule collection video. I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I made the sash to go with it although you haven't seen me style it with that today. And I also did a couple of little hair ties 
guys because I had enough fabric to cut those out. I'm gonna have to see if I've got enough to cut out a hair tie from this fabric as well. Just thought about that. Really happy with this one. We'll wear this one. There is a little bit of the hem that just disagreed with the iron so this kind of like it looks like um sand in the wind i wonder if i can get a close-up of that for you but yeah it looks like when a beach has been blown in the wind kind of thing i don't think it's super obvious and if i hadn't pointed it out i doubt anyone would have been able to catch it on camera and i doubt anyone's going to notice in real life because it's on the hem of my dress even though it's the front hem of my dress but you know what it's not going to stop me wearing this i really like it i love the color on me i am going to keep my eyes out for a fully viscose version of this fabric maybe in a slightly brighter yellow because as I say I'm not overly keen on wearing polyester next to my skin I haven't tried wearing this in any kind of warm weather so it's going to be interesting if this one survives in the wardrobe the skirt will because it's not next to my upper body but this one it may end up being sleeveless or it may end up getting donated and I replace it with a different yellow polka dot if I find one so that was all of February's makes and then March I have made one thing that I can show you in March and I've already shown you there is a two hour sew -all Along on the channel for the Vogue 9076 and there is also an independent separate review video for the four that I've made the changes that I've made and if I recommend that pattern or not because obviously if you're not sure if you want to make something you're not going to watch a two hour or so long to find out I really really love that dress and I have plans to make more the bodice is absolutely gorgeous and the very lovely Lynn has given me an idea for the next one although it is going to mean that I'm going to need something like 20 meters of piping which I'm not looking forward to having to make but it's going to be worth it 100% it's going to be worth it I wonder if I can find pre-made piping in the color I want I will look but there is another Vogue 9076 coming and I'm super happy with the one that I made in March I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I am very very pleased that that sew along is finally done and up on the channel and I'm so glad that you guys seem to be enjoying it as well I'm really really pleased with everything I've made over the last couple of months and I don't think there are any duds other than this one for its fabric composition but I love how it looks and moves we'll just have to see if it's comfortable to wear for a long period of time in slightly warmer weather than um than it's had the opportunity to shine in so far so let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite and why i think it's definitely the outfit that i'm wearing and then this one as a close second or technically third because of the print i'm so so glad that i finally started sewing this print up i'm really excited for the next couple of months and getting the rest of that collection made if you've enjoyed this video you might want to check out this one here. 